Hi all and welcome back to the next episode of my little mini ice cream van. Um, I hope you like it. Right, welcome back. As you can see, Sean's back in the workshop. Um, last time out, we got the engine running. However, the next day I came out and I discovered this. We have a little bit of a problem. This morning, I've come out and we're leaking oil. So I think first part of the call today is let's find out where this oil leak is coming from. Hmm. Right, so let's do some investigation on our mini. I've jacked it up, so let's crawl underneath and have a look what we can see. <laughs> Floor here. Uh, very wet under here. Not very good coming off the gearbox casing there. Ooh, not so bad. Dry at the front. <coughs> Looks pretty dry there. We can get all the way underneath. Have a proper nose around. There is some common places on minis that leak. You can see almost certainly the seals in the drive shaft output are done. They look like it's leaking from there personally already. It's leaking from the other side as well. Is that just running down onto where the gear changes? There is a, I don't know if I can catch it on camera, there is a, another seal where the rod change goes as well that leaks uh, otherwise I don't know, it looks old and grimy but it doesn't look oily anyway does it what's the pipe there a little bit wet that doesn't look like it's on properly whatever that pipe is looks a bit not connected Yeah, it looks pretty dry. The spiders are all floating around. <coughs> Back on this. It doesn't look too bad. So yeah, it looks like it's these output seals that are the main cause. I wonder these CV joints look rubbish as well, don't they? Shop. They look like they're probably tired. I'm going to take them out. I might as well change them as well, I think. Okay, more stuff to add to the shopping list, I think. So, since then, we may have done a little bit of shopping. <laughs> we have literally tons and tons of parts that we're going to try to fix, fix all the oil leaks, change any bits that we found with trouble. Right, um, so this is yeah. where my video goes to pop really um I had loads and loads of problems with my gopro it just kept cutting out and rebooting and corrupting the memory it was absolutely a nightmare which is half the reason this video is taking so long to come out um, i've just tried to cut together bits that have worked and are in some sort of order um, so i apologize for it being very very weird you've got twin leading shoe on this haven't you i don't know yeah you have well you, presumably you have because you've got a brake pipe linking one side to the other so it must have uh, twin leading shoe brakes. Is the one I think. That's one of the things I wanted to look at when I got the drums off to see what was going on. Well, you can see d got. down here. See where my finger is? That's a brake pipe. So it's linking from one side from front to back. Okay. So it must have another cylinder there and another cylinder here. So it must be like must a be, twin yeah. twin leading shoe system. So as a drum brake system, it's probably about as the most efficient one they develop sort of thing. Yeah. So to get out this oil seal, we need to disconnect all the front suspension. We need to get that drive shaft out. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun now. You got a ball joint splitter? Yep. Weren't expecting that, were you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, I wasn't. Mm. 
that's did we get new uh, bushes for that? Probably not. Yeah, Can't remember everything. <laughs> yeah. We may need them. Oh. Isn't it nice when a plan comes together? So this is another of them really tricky to video parts. Um, what we're trying to do here is undo them weird rubber CV joint type things. Yeah, you and me both, mate. No offense, I can't see what I'm doing either. Simulating, I know what I was doing to start with. Is there a racket that's going to be close to the size you want? 13 mil. Oh, yeah. Well, once I've broken it, they'll, they'll do it with that. And we've got new nuts for these anyway. <laughs> got 13 matches. 13 matches, spanner. Yeah, well, we've got new. Didn't we got new. Um, um, What's the names for it, didn't we? We've got new yeah, new yeah. hammers of kit, so it will it doesn't really matter if we the bolt nuts round off a bit. We're not gonna need them again. Might make life a lot easier. So as you can now see, it's pretty dark outside and Sean has lost the will to live. Um, there's the bolt that goes into the gearbox, we just couldn't get it undone. The Hayton's manual says to put a block of wood beside it and press, press against it, just couldn't do it. So the next day I'm on my own and I come up with this genius idea, um, put a bit of uni strut across, two bolts through the drive flange to where that nut is, and I got it undone. Yay! So I'm just removing now the input shaft and then behind that is the rubber seal that we're trying to get to. It literally just picks out um, and you push a new one in, a job done. Right, so this is where I'm gonna recap over all the things that you missed when the GoPro broke. First up, I wanted to get the rubber cones out they were corroded inside. I couldn't get my spring compressor to get, just wouldn't bite into it. It was the Imperial one, wouldn't touch. So ended up having to cut the trumpets to drop them out, but that's a job that's done and it saves a lot of swearing. So um, that's about it for this video. So next up, hopefully it'll be putting this front suspension back together and then working on the other side.